Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be sharing my audacity settings and what I do to my audio to get it to sound like this. And now this video is heavily inspired by my homie Crispy. If you guys are into video games, if you guys are into funny moments, things like that, then make sure to go check him out. I'll leave his link down below. I was listening to one of his videos and his audio was so, so crispy. Literally his name, Crispy. It sounded so good that I was like, you know what? I haven't shared my audacity settings in a minute and I think it would be really cool to just kind of let you guys know how you can improve your microphone quality and know that I don't sound this good normally I do some fine tuning because everyone needs a little bit of fine tuning besides a few adjustments that you can do by just you know enunciating words and speaking a little bit more clearly so if you guys are excited make sure to drop a like on the video but anyways guys let's get straight into the video Alrighty, now that we are over on my desktop, this is what Audacity basically looks like. It's a little confusing, but don't worry, I will walk you guys through it all. So basically, we just want to start recording and get things going. A lot of the times, I like to just leave like three to four seconds of empty noise. So in case I need to use noise removal, I have that beginning noise to kind of delete everything. So usually, I'll just start it off like this. What's up everybody, my name is Kryptonic and the audio you guys are listening to is being recorded on the Rode Pod mic, and this microphone is actually pretty damn sexy. And now that the audio is recorded, I'm going to play it for you guys so that you guys can hear what it sounds like before and then I'm going to edit the audio and then I'm going to show you guys the after. So I'm just going to let you guys listen to this without anything going on. What's up everybody, my name is Kryptonic and the audio you guys are listening to is being recorded on the Rode Pod mic and this microphone is actually pretty damn sexy. And as you guys heard, that doesn't actually sound too bad, but it could sound way, way better. So we're just going to start by clicking over here on the left side and you guys will see that the whole audio clip is highlighted. And now we just head over to effect and the first thing I like to do is just add the compressor. You click compressor, you don't touch anything, every default setting here is perfectly fine. You click OK, you guys will see that your audio spikes a little bit. Don't worry, these are all things that at the end will just get very fine tuned. And then you want to go down to graphic EQ and click manage factory presets and bass boost and you guys will see that your audio lines are just going to keep going up and down depending on your audio tone for me i feel like i have a very deep voice so giving it that bass and that treble is something i really really like but you guys can obviously cut things out of the process if you guys don't think it fits you sometimes it might tune your voice a little bit too much like i said depending on the sound of your voice i have a very average sounding voice so it works really really well when i just kind of enunciate my words really well and now that i've selected all of that i've done treble and bass boost to my audio clip now i'm going to go down here to limiter i'm going to click ok on hard limit <laughs> over here click ok you guys will see that it limits my audio lines right here so that they don't actually spike which keeps the whole kind of commentary sounding the same so that it doesn't have exciting moments when it just spikes up and then it spikes down it keeps the audio waves about the same which is something i really like because it balances out the whole audio in a commentary okay so now going back to our settings we want to go to noise reduction and for noise reduction the first three to four seconds that i told you guys to get is really important because that's what you're going to be deleting you highlight that you go back to effect noise reduction get noise profile and it'll actually basically just use that and it'll look for that in the entire clip and then you just highlight the whole clip again click effect noise reduction and you click ok and then as you guys can see now it's fully done you go back to effect you click normalize and for me i like to put it to negative 5 db because sometimes the audio clips after all the editing are really loud depending on your microphone my gain set to like 50 percent on my audio interface so it's not too too bad so negative 5 db for me and you guys will see that it actually makes it a little bit smaller uh the waves and everything but this is something that's not really bad for you guys because you can just turn it up a little bit in post-processing in like adobe audition or something so it's really really easy to just kind of fix if you need to use it or adobe premiere which is where i edit all my videos so now i'm gonna let you guys listen to this and you guys let me know what you think because i think it sounds way better 
What's up, everybody? My name is Kryptonic, and the audio you guys are listening to is being recorded on the Rode PodMic, and this microphone is actually pretty damn sexy. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounded pretty good. That was basically just a little bit of work that we did, and we got so much out of it. And that's something that a lot of people could easily do to their audio if they're just doing commentaries. And it's a very simple process, like I said, and it really changes up everything for you. And these are just little simple works that you just do on your computer and it takes no time whatsoever. And now if you guys are like me and don't really like having to do all that for every clip, then I have a very simple solution for you guys that I actually found going through bunch of little tabs well whatever it doesn't matter i found it you go to tools and then you go to macros and once you get to macros you just hit new and then you can title it so i'm going to call it youtube template once i have that you guys will see that there is nothing on the right side and all you have to do is basically click insert and look for everything that i told you guys to just get so let's start off with exactly what we did compressor you click edit parameters and you can adjust it depending however you want to change it if you want to change it but like i said all the things that i did i just left the default setting on so all of these things i'm just going to add and sort of stack and it's basically a macro meaning that next time you record something you hit this youtube template button and it'll run all these commands for you cutting out the middleman which i think is fantastic but anyways guys that's basically it those are my settings for audacity like i said these are little things that anybody can do to their microphone and just know that a lot of the times it really just comes down to how much effort you're putting into making your voice sound better you know a lot of the times people on youtube and stuff they're not just going around sounding mopey like hey what's up everybody they're always at their top you know energy level like hey what's up guys my name is kryptonic but then you guys can see like it, it, it's a lot in the voice too the microphone does half the job as long as you have a half decent microphone you guys should be fine but just make sure that you guys are actually trying to commentate hey it's like talking to somebody you don't want them to not understand you you know you're stuttering you're saying words it's all about practicing and honestly that's all it is just practice 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 and even then practice a little more if social media can teach you anything it is public speaking skills because you're talking into a camera but you should really be talking into it like you're talking into your audience and that's kind of what i try to focus it on so i would want you guys to see the best representation of myself right anyways guys my name is kryptonic hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about the video my settings are pretty cool and i let you guys know a little secret at the end how to make macros for this so that you don't have to you know keep rerunning this and those macros honestly save so much time once you're recording a bunch of different commentaries anyways guys i stream on twitch monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday at 9 a.m pacific standard time not on the weekends because the weekends are off for the boys but yeah my name is Kryptonic, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, guys.